from San Jose, in the heart of Silicon Valley, extracting the signal from the noise. It's the Cube covering OCP U.S. Summit 2016. Brought to you by OCP. Now your host, Jeff Frick and Stu Miniman. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We are live in San Jose at the Open Compute Project Summit 2016 OCP. Summit. This is our third year bringing the cube here. It's really an interesting story because this is the cloud, and really it was a, initially a Facebook initiative to open source a lot of their hardware infrastructure to share with the world, you know, how a hyperscale company is developing this stuff, and then share the secrets, kind of open the kimono, and now all the hardware vendors are jumping on board to support this standard. So now we're actually going to talk to a hardware guy who's stuck in a software company, but we're happy to have him on. Kevin Lee, technical program manager from Facebook. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you. So you, uh, you already had a session today, you got a session tomorrow. Your session's all about Big Sur. Tell the folks in the audience, what is Big Sur? So Big Sur is our um, purposely built hardware for artificial intelligence. Um, so it's intended to do uh, large model uh, deep learning applications. So what are some of the things that make it specific to that application that you had to really take into consideration? Yeah, so um, it, it was designed around an NVIDIA's M40 GPUs. Um, so it houses eight GPUs, uh, up to 300 watts each. Um, so com compared to our um, other um, OEM solutions that we've used in the past, uh, the, the speed is twice as fast and we can train models twice as large with this system. So are there any examples you can share of some of the applications where this thing is being, being applied? Yeah, so um, you can see it all on, uh, on Facebook already, um, the type of AI and machine learning algorithms that we do train on it. Can you, can you give me one <laughs> that yeah, I so, can see? So, or um, or so what process maybe is better, is improved by yeah. the application of Big Sur that I, that I would notice, or maybe I wouldn't notice it just uh, magically happens for me? So, um, so as Jay mentioned in his keynote today, um, there's a lot of um, applications that are used in ads or used in, um, in facial recognition and stuff like that. So that, that's, that's what it's used for. Okay. All right. so, Kevin, can you give us a little bit of insight as kind of the relationship between kind of the hardware and software folks inside of Facebook? And I think back to when OCP first launched and we said, you know, boy, you know, you know, companies like Facebook, you know, Google, Yahoo, you know, have these, you know, team of PhDs, they really build an application and, you know, infrastructure just serves that, but it, it's very different from what you saw in the enterprise. Maybe give us your experiences and how, how the teams work uh, and what might be different from what you know, most companies say. Okay, um, yeah, so um, for Big Sur specifically, um, uh, the, when we designed and built Big Sur, it was targeted at a certain application. Um, so, so a lot of the models and training that we do are very specialized for AI, and a lot of the offerings that the OEMs provided at that time didn't, didn't have the sort of uh, architectures that that we wanted. So Big Sur in itself was actually uh, designed together with the, the software in mind. And then how does it feel to kind of let your baby out? Um, you know, right behind you is the, is the Facebook booth. There's been a massive line there all day standing around that big rack and there's a Big Sur server in there, correct? Yeah. So how does it feel to kind of you know, open it up and share it with, with the world outside of the walls of Facebook? I mean, it feels amazing. Um, so, uh, it's, we spent about 16 months working on this hardware. Um, a lot of literal blood and sweat went into this design. <laughs> Hopefully not <And> too much <laughs> blood. Not too much blood. <laughs> and um, so we went into making it uh, uh, purposely built for AI and um, that, that's, that's what we did, yeah. All right, uh, so Kevin, uh, you know, if you've had some conversation to show, what kind of questions are you getting from uh, you know, attendees here? Uh, you get, you give us a little bit of vibe of what, what you're getting. Um, so some questions um, that were asked were, um, how do I manage different type of PCI topologies? How does it fit to um, AI applications specifically? So uh, when we designed uh, the Big Sur system, uh, we, we made it so that it is um, flexible and dynamic. Um, it has different building blocks, as we call it, inside the system itself and then uh, we, we can actually put a, a, a standard motherboard into the system and um, different types of GPUs such as NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, they can all fit into the system. And you said you open sourced it in December, so what type of contributions are you getting back from the community that you guys hadn't thought of yourselves? Yeah, so um, basically back to the software point too. Um, so we've been um, actively contributing a lot of the software developments that we've done um, from the Facebook AI research team and um, being able to contribute the, the hardware is actually one big leap in, in this whole space uh, for, for, for open source. So, uh, 
you know, obviously, you know, Facebook, you know, you know, started everything going on in OCP. You know, what kind of direction do you get, uh, you know, as an organization for kind of contribution, uh, you know, participating not only on your project but you know what goes on on GitHub, you know, when, when, when something's out the door. Can you repeat that? So, so uh, talking about just in general, your your participation, not just you know building initially, but participating in some of the community activity. Yeah, um, exactly. So um, the the intent of Big Sur wasn't to like throw it out there and then this is what you must use. So um, Big Sur itself, uh, we are very open to um, getting feedback on the system itself. I'm sure there are faults in the system, and we would iterate and build on that for the next generation. So um, uh, OCP is very very good at at doing that. So you staying on the Big Sur project, or are you uh, off to new pastures? So I mean, um, cur currently, I, I work uh, as a technical program manager. I work both on the on the AI platform stuff and also on um, our signal socket architecture. So we already talked about it today in the keynote, the Yosemite um, platform. So do you see all this horsepower bringing, you know, coming to bear, and you're the one that's actually putting it together and seeing the application and the performance. What, what's getting, what gets you excited about what's going to be you know, that you'll be able to do six months, nine months, 12 months, I won't even say years, that's way too far in this I mean, scale. So back, back to Facebook's philosophy, what we're trying to do is connect the next billion people. So um, a lot of the work that goes into AI is to understand and to understand the world a little better. So um, I think Big Sur really connects back to our mission uh, as a company. So Kevin, you know, one of the things we look at with like AI specifically is, you know, how do I get an order of magnitude better, you know, faster processing? Uh, so, you know, I guess, what has been kind of the, 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 the biggest leaps forward uh, that, that you've been, you talked about, kind of the, is it density, is it, you know, the way you can, you know, redesign the airflow, and, you know, where do you see kind of the opportunity that if you look down the road and you say, oh, I can't wait to do, you know, a next generation of this because, uh, you know, it, boy, it's going to be, you know, so much better, faster, cheaper, yeah, uh, you know, um, a year from now. So the field of AI is very interesting at this moment. So there are many different offerings that, that, uh, that is out there. So to understand uh, what works well in our infrastructure, that's the very exciting part in it, uh, that we have today. Um, so currently, uh, Big Sur right now, uh, it supports up to uh, eight GPUs, so models can fit up to the amount of memory that's on those GPUs. So in the future, maybe the models might get a little bigger, and we have to think about um, how to actually um, extrapolate that into, into the rack or the data center level. So that's the part that gets very, very interesting. All right, Kevin, well, before we let you go, give a little plug for your session tomorrow. I, I know you had more of a keynote today. Tomorrow's going to be a little bit more in-depth hands-on. Yeah. Tell the folks what to expect tomorrow and uh, when and where they should show up. So tomorrow I'm doing an engineering workshop, um, basically on the same topic that I, I talked about today. I'm going to go in-depth about the PCIe topologies. Uh, it's at 10.30 tomorrow and anyone can come in and ask me any questions they'd like. Awesome, well, Kevin, thanks for uh, spending a few minutes. Kevin Lee, technical program manager from Facebook. These are the guys that basically do the hard work behind the scenes that make the magic happen where you can talk to your phone and ask it where to go or ask it a question. Uh, really exciting stuff. I think Amar's Law never talked about enough. Where this stuff is going, how fast it's going is really amazing. So Kevin, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. I'm Jeff Frick with Stu Miniman. We are live in San Jose at the Open Compute Project Summit. 2016, we'll be back after this short break with our next guest. Thanks for watching.